Windows Wireless Adapter Won't Connect to the Internet. Eliminate your frustration in three easy steps. Hello everyone, in this video we'll show you how to troubleshoot your Windows wireless connection. We'll demonstrate simple diagnostic methods to get you back online even if you have limited technical knowledge. So you turn on your computer one day and you cannot connect to the internet. There is no wireless connection. We will present a couple simple things to try first. Skip these and start with step one if you've already tried simple. The first one we'll explore here is resetting the router and the internet modem. To do that, you're going to remove power from the internet modem and then remove power from the router. The steps here are important. After that, apply power back to the internet modem. A few moments after that, the wide area network light will come on. Once that WAN light is illuminated, you can apply power to the router. In about a minute or so, eventually the port that you have this plugged into, normally it's port one on the modem, that light will come on and it could very well solve your internet connection problem. The next simple step is to come down to the Windows taskbar and search for settings. Click on settings. In settings, search for update and select Windows updates. Click on check for updates and if you have any, install those. Running updates might solve your wireless connection problem. What we'll do is we'll run through the diagnostic setup here. The diagnostic policy service not running needs to be addressed because it's at the heart of all the troubleshooting tools underneath the Windows operating system. It's an extremely important first step in order to resolve any connection issues. We'll try those repairs as an administrator and it still says it's not running. So we'll close this and go into the first step. Down here we'll run services MSC and what we want to do is go to that diagnostic service. As you can see it's down here. We'll open that up. We'll try to start it, and it says it will not start. So to get it started, we have to go to the command prompt, come down here and run command prompt as an administrator. All of these commands will be located in the video description. So the first command we want to run is this local group administrator add network service, completed successfully. Then we're going to add network administrator add local service. And then we'll exit out of here. We'll restart the computer. Come back in. Go down to services MSC. Go back to the diagnostic service. Open it up and now you can see it's running. So we come back into our internet connection and we'll do the run Windows diagnostic. And this time it ran but it still said there are problems. So trying these as an administrator and did not fix the problems. So we'll close out of this and we'll go to step two. Do that, we'll come down here and we'll run the device manager. Open that up. Expand the network adapter section here. Go to the Wi-Fi adapter. And here we wanna drill in on the driver. We wanna do update the driver. And what we'll do is we'll go into Browse My Computer for Driver. We're just trying to get this adapter to reinitialize. So we'll come down here and click Next. And we're going to select the bottom one next again. And it's been installed. But we'll close out of this and restart the computer. Come down here, go to Settings. Inside of Settings, we'll search for Network Reset. Select that. It's a good idea once you've reinstalled the driver to reset the network settings. Before you click the network reset, it's important to understand that this will erase all Wi-Fi networks that you've previously connected to and the associated passwords. So it's not just going to affect the specific one you're having a problem with. So we'll reset the network settings. Once we've reset the network settings, we'll go back into the device manager, come down to the taskbar, and you can see here we still do not have any wireless connections available. It's only showing the Bluetooth. So in order to fix that, we're gonna come over to the wireless adapter, right click on it, and we're going to uninstall the device completely. So uninstall it and say, yes, we want to uninstall. And now it's gone. And what we'll do is we'll come back up here, right click on network adapters, and we'll say scan for hardware changes. And you can see it's re-added the network adapter. That process of resetting the network, then uninstalling the adapter, come back down to the taskbar again, and now you can see we have available Wi-Fi. We can select that. 
we can go over to our internet page, hit the refresh, and there we go. Our internet is back. That's it for today's video on how to troubleshoot Windows wireless connectivity. We hope you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We're always here to support you and have a great and wonderful automation day.